Sup, fishes. Cheap J and I, Gillian Tide Strider, have one challenge left before we claim the title of Paramount Champions. We've bested the Grandberry Pirates and are now moving on to the final obstacle in our way. Lasagna Libre. Oh, he's... I mean, La Alma is what he's called. The stakes are high, but I'm wetter. Who will win? Only fate knows, and it will decide in the Thunderdome of Destiny! Let's just roll with it! What's up, everybody? Welcome to Just Bro With It! I'm Grizzly, I'm the DM. Woo! I'm Bizzly, I play Chip. My name's Con... Yeah, I play Chip, friend. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm Charlie Slime School, and I play Gillian Tide Strider. What? It, is oh. that my cue? Oh. Can I play Just Roll Who With It now? Who? Am I finally on Just Roll With It? No! Who the fuck are you? Get out of here. How did you get into the studio? I snuck in. I snuck in. I rolled a I rolled a 12 plus 8 and then I snuck in. You guys didn't even notice me. I don't even think I have that ability. How did he How'd you But I'm the DM. Get him out. Where's the okay, where's security? I'm gonna roll where's I'm gonna security? roll I'm gonna roll to try to get him out of here. Guys, I got a natural one. Uh-oh, guys. Oh god. What's we a natural roll? one? Oh my god, I guess we need to have poke on this episode of just roll with it. And Pope, oh, who do you play man. on this episode of Just Roll With It? I play La Alma, the La. fella. And we're the about fella. to find the out who dude. that is. Who the frick is that? I don't think I can swear within the first minute, right? Nah, it doesn't matter. We don't care. Heck no, yeah. <laughs> oh. I've I've sworn freaky, so many times. Freaky beans. <laughs> 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 what the fuck does that even mean? Where we last left off. The three of you. Chip, Jay, and Gillian won the Paramount Tournament's unique first challenge called Jack the Jolly Roger. Through the power of Jay's old lady strength, Chip's pants, and Gillian's frogtopus, you secured three flags total over the remaining teams. One being the Granberry Pirates led by Captain Lizzie, and the other being a lone samurai, who you learned to be called Bun Yamamoto. On your way out of the Coliseum, Chip, you were brushed past by Captain Lizzie, whom you recognized as Elizabeth and were told in Thieves' Cant to meet at the local doctor. The three of you made your way to Rudy's Respite, led down to a secret basement underneath this apothecary's establishment, and met with these pirates. You found that Marshal John enthusiastically joined her crew, and Elizabeth requested your help to take the fight to the Navy to revolt against their supposed corrupt nature. After a bit of discourse and the conversation, Chip stormed out, followed by Jay. The two would spend their evening sitting on their in-room floor, bonding over drinks, while Gillian got to know one of Elizabeth's crew, Caspian, bonding over a drink from the undersea and spell practice, before joining Chip and Jay in their moment as well. <laughs> before the night ended, Chip set out to check on Ollie, assuming him to be back at the ship, but his attention was distracted by the sounds of pummeling through the alleyway of a nearby building. Behind this building you watched, the silhouette of a smaller figure slam a familiar Viking pirate into the ground, two others littered beside him. And so, our journey continues. Chip, you're locked in a staring contest with this figure, their shape backlit by the moonlight, the two of you frozen in place having yet to make any sudden moves, as your drunken vision focuses a bit more on this person. Yeah. Poke, okay. now you can describe your character. Yeah. So, um, you, you see a cat-like animal. They're wearing tights and a pair of boots with a color scheme of purple, black, and white. While he has a friendly look to him, he also gives off the vibe of someone you shouldn't judge on looks alone. You guys are standing basically uh, right across from each other. Poke, your character, um, Laoma, as we uh, have uh, learned, is, is standing above three of these unconscious, beat-up... Uh, large muscular viking pirates that are covered in this black and and uh and, and furred leather armor uh their, their their helmets are now cracked and slammed against this this building's wall and uh, uh, uh 
you have basically finished what you came out here to do, but you're now caught looking at this uh, a bit average sized human with, with short brown hair uh, and just a, a classic white ruffled shirt with uh, suspenders and this uh, light and dark gray striped pants just staring at you in this kind of drunken swang stupor. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nice kitty. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm in. The, I think I'm in the wrong uh, alley. I'm my. I, Who are you? I am Chibo. <laughs> <laughs> are you okay? Are you you fine? Come here. Uh, Come here. Okay. Come rap with me. Come on. I don't. I don't know if I want to get close to you, sir, ma'am. <laughs> ma'am, sir. <laughs> it's very dark out here. I'm not feeling so good, Kitty. I I'd appreciate not it. Feeling very good. All right. <laughs> I need What's to find my on? ship. Wait, you have a crew then. You're here for the tournament, I'd assume. No. <laughs> <laughs> Roll deception check, Jim. <laughs> Didn't everyone fucking see us? <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I mean, it's a, Do you want me to, do you want me to roll, roll a disadvantage? Uh, or a disadvantage? Yeah, go ahead. No. Roll a disadvantage. Okay. Well, oh, good, because that one was a 21, and this it's, one it's, is... It's oh, dark out 14. here, but... Okay, 14, four, 14 definitely. Uh, not the uh, Chibo you're looking for. <laughs> I'm, uh, I, you would recognize the outfit, not so much the face, because it's a little dark out here, and the only light uh, visible from the side of the uh, uh, the town behind this this building is the moonlight itself. But you definitely recognize the pants uh, and very, a little bit of the, of the weapons. Yeah, he does yeah. look familiar. Um, mm -hmm. He's definitely lying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am not here for that. I, I get the feeling that you're lying. I don't understand why you're exactly. I, I would not do that. You, I'm not a liar. It, it's quite easy but to you tell. Don't even, you don't even know me. I, I really don't know you, and I would like to know more about you. But your your first instinct was to lie to me for some reason. You're being hurtful <laughs> right now. I I'm really not trying to be. You're you're out here yeah. just at night wandering an alleyway, drunk off your ass, it's okay, and you're lying to me. People up. I, How did you beat up those guys? Well, um, well, we, we don't need to worry yeah, about that. Um, um, duh, 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 duh. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I thought. You know, maybe. Listen, can you can you just help me get to my ship? Please? Yeah, of course. Can you show me the way? I'm just pointing like around. Yeah, you're just <laughs> my head down. <laughs> I don't know. I think something turned. I'm starting to feel a little sick. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna give him my uh, shoulder. Then we're gonna yeah, sure. we're gonna try my best to uh, get this drunkard back to his friends and ship. Okay, yeah. Uh, you uh, just kind of crouch under his arm there and and, and give him a, a a little bit of help walking. You know where the docks are. Um, you kind of uh, leave these three. Uh, bodies just laid sprawled out behind the uh, the building here, and you walk through the alley true. back into this uh, uh, almost. Uh, it's the entrance to a cul-de-sac uh, of uh, called um, the respite district, where uh, people get entertained or or stay uh, and and etc. Bars, taverns, and and whatnot. But you guys uh, head out of the respite district back to this uh, main road and uh, taking a left and going down just a little bit of ways into the wooden docks. You can see there's tons of ships still uh, lined up, <laughs> filling up the port here. Uh, you're here, but you don't know exactly which one belongs to this uh, drunken kid. <laughs> as, we're, as, as we're walking, like it's just quiet for a moment. You're fuzzy. <laughs> Soft. <laughs> it's fine, bro. Listen, we've been going for 33 episodes, but if you want to kill him, you can. Like, <laughs> I, just, I want to. I want to come in. I want to grab him by the by the scruff a little bit. That's that would be where my oh nipple my is, God. man. <laughs> That's whatever. I'm grabbing. I'm, I'm just, just I trying. need you to help me find my son. <laughs> you have a kid? It's not mine. It's a, I don't know where he came from. <laughs> we gotta find him. I thought we were looking for your ship and your your friends, your crew. He's on the ship. I gotta keep up, Fuzzy. <laughs> Come on. As you can see, we have quite a bit of ships here, so you're gonna have to help me out here. 
I know that you're very drunk ships. off your ass, but a lot of ships. Yeah, a lot of lot of lot of ships there. You wanna you wanna give me a hand there. here? I'll say I'll say uh, poke. You can roll a uh, a perception check with advantage. So it'll be rolling a d20 and then add add plus three. So I, I rolled a it's 19. Up to then. you, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Yeah, but that that's a 19. It's easy enough to see. Uh, uh, with Chip's help, you guys would uh, get to, or you would notice the flag uh, that he tries his best to describe, or, or he, he would point the so direction. It's, like, it's Chip's called Millennium Chipper. Okay, it's like oh in, so. So there's a <laughs> the flag. It's it's um, you know, like the skeleton, the skull, yeah. the head. Yeah, the it's like that. Yeah, that's a very it's common a little, one. Little, I've heard. Little chip in it. There's a little chip. It's a little chip. I, you see, you see, I ain't chip. Right. Kind of a joke. Uh huh. And then <laughs> riveting. And it's and then it's um. Oh, that one. Easily enough, as he hey, says, chip. It. It's the only flag that has this unique. Uh, Jolly Roger design. The rest of them are very uh, uh, traditional skull and bones with the skull having some sort of uh, uniqueness to it, like a different hat or a different uh, shape of the skull itself. But this one has straight up like wings and coral growing out of the skull and a chip. And, uh, and it says, you as you walk up to the ship, <laughs> you see uh, uh, carved into the side of it, it says the albatross. And uh, as you guys get close enough, uh, you... Uh, see this uh, a small feeble old man walk up to the side of the railing and look over <laughs> what the fuck is that <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is that <gasps> chip oh! fall back <laughs> die you okay oh you killed him you killed him he i don't to run, I did... run down the, the little ladder and start to uh, run over to chip hey chip Chip! No, no, no. I'll no, get no, you for this, you fine. bastard! I, I... No, 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 it's my friend Fluffy. <laughs> what? I thought it was Fuzzy. <laughs> so you stay out of this, Fuzzy. <laughs> so you're a friend, huh? Yeah, yeah he's, yeah. he's alright. He's I, a he's a fine guy. I was... I, I've got... Uh, <laughs> I, I, I found him in an alleyway and I figured I'd, I'd help him home because clearly they were drunk. And just <laughs> absolutely gone. Well, what the fuck? Why didn't you invite me? Going out for drinks without old man Earl is hurtful, you know? Earl, I'm, I'm sorry, I just... But up we, here we, watching we, the goddamn ship the whole fucking time by my goddamn self! Earl, Shit. I'm sorry. <laughs> but you can have some can you of believe this? this guy? I pull up a bottle that's got like a little baby sip left. We say something for you. <laughs> That'll do. He <laughs> 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 just, just, just uh, fucking full kicks it back. <laughs> hey, what are you doing here? Uh, I'm looking Where are for the my Ollie. Are we leaving? Oh. Oh no no no! We're not gonna we're not gonna leave yet. We still gotta beat that guy. Oh. Uh, the, the guy. The champ, huh? Yeah. You won. Made yeah. it to the grands, huh? <laughs> Feel Come like on. a big old champion now, aren't you, little chip? He's like <laughs> like helping you up on the ground. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm champion. I'm Chibo. I don't I thought feel your name very was good, Chip. Earl. It's both. It's confusing, Fuzzy. Is it? I don't feel very good. What about you, Earl? Fuzzy? I I did you compete drink. in the tournament too. Um, I not not there. necessarily. No, I would have noticed I this say. guy. <laughs> I hit him really hard. <laughs> well, if it's those three idiots out there competing, it's gonna be a really good show. <sighs> All right. Well, um, I won with pants, Earl. So many pants. Pants? Right. So, um, yeah. I think mm. Ollie's asleep. It is like midnight. Uh, he's alive? Uh, it is mid, mid moon night. The moon is mid. The moon is mid in the sky. It's midnight. Mid moon. The moon is in the It's middle night. It's the middle of the night, you fucking idiot. <laughs> 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 but, so Ollie's alive? Yeah. That's he's awesome. just kind of. He's a, uh, he's been sleeping a lot, I guess. Must be a growing boy. Something like that. That's good. He gonna get so strong. <laughs> Absolutely. Yes. So, do you have any juice? I need juice. I feel like water would probably be a better... No, not no? for now. Yeah, I've been Where trying to stock guy? up, but we're on our last little batch of dragon fruit. 
So, no. uh, I can get some for you. You want some juice? Uh, <laughs> it looks at you. It looks at you. I'm, I'm okay. I think I'll. I of think course, I'll you want some juice. I'll get you some juice. Starts to like he hobble back juice. over to the he ship. Wants juice. <laughs> uh, he climbs back up the little rope ladder back onto the ship. You see him disappear uh, uh, and then come back holding this two mason jar, uh, glass mason jars full of this peach colored liquid, kind of m- milkier than expected for Milky. juice. And he hands, <laughs> he hands it to, to, to you and to Chip. I fucking gulp it down. I will try this what a waste. later. <laughs> <laughs> what a waste of <laughs> time. Okay, yeah, you gulp it down. Uh, you immediately feel this sense of, of old man's, uh, old man Earl's inspiration. Uh, you can give yourself inspiration on your sheet, um, which is basically like the next, actually within the next 24 hours, um, you'll be able to give your, uh, a role that you choose advantage. All right, yep. Enjoy that. Should stay good. Expiration date is unknown, but oh. tastes good. <laughs> right. I, I guess okay. as long as uh he's they're 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 fine then I I'm gonna take my leave I think. What yeah. the hell? You can't leave. I, well, go ahead. I I really think I should, personally. But the party's just getting started. <laughs> I me and you, Fuzzy, were friends. Well, you brought we me just here. met, and I I owe you. Well, and now I gotta repay you. I I think the I think the juice. We'll count the juice as the repayment, maybe. Yeah. How about we we call it? It's square good there. fucking juice. It, I'm sure. Worth a million gold. Juice. Million gold. Yep. If I had to say. I'm gonna I'm gonna fridge that later then. <laughs> Made it myself. Nobody makes better juice than old man Earl's juice. You sure you don't want me, my friends? I got it's a fish, and <laughs> uh other one. <laughs> I'm I'm <laughs> sure we'll meet again. I'm gonna I'm just gonna like dash into the darkness at this point. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm out of that point. I'm just gonna I'm gone. Just fucking spring. <laughs> I, I look over at Earl and I'm silent for a second. It's a weird fucking cat. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Never met one that could stand on two legs and talk like that. Is this real? Go back to sleep, buddy. Go back to sleep. I just, and I'm gonna go to hug Earl, but instead just like put my hands all over his face. Good night, Earl. Blood, blood! <laughs> uh, I, I, go, I, go, I go back to the, to the end. I, I walk fucking in kid. the room, and, I, and as soon as I walk in, I just fucking take a couple steps. I go over to the bed, and I miss it by a couple inches and face plant <laughs> onto the floor. Mm, mm. Ow! Uh, and the other two of you guys, would you be awake to hear... Uh, chip return. Oh, or would you I'm be out. long I'm out, man. Yeah. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out like a light. <laughs> Gotta get Absolutely. my eight hours. I'm still, I'm still just on the ground, face down, next to, next to Jay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, I'm in the same position. I got frozen. In, <laughs> in that case, um, on your way back, you feel a uh, familiar and uh, slight vibration, a buzzing around your wrist, uh, coming from this chain. Uh, this very thin chained wristband and the color of red. You would know this to be a uh, essentially a signal that is pinged to you to let you know that it is time to return. <laughs> sort of like that, but not a sound. <laughs> Plays a fucking WhatsApp <laughs> ringtone. <laughs> <laughs> you make your way back to the Coliseum, um, but you don't enter uh, the normal entrance that's right in the front you swing back um around the corner of this coliseum that leads down uh there's a a stone wall that once you get near it you feel the vibration around your wrist once again and the walls kind of just (laughs) move to the right and it's a staircase that leads down into another hallway and uh you hear as you're walking in (laughs) as it shuts behind you this is a uh, a secret place that uh, a, you usually stay in. Uh, as you're walking down this hallway of a stone stone floor surrounded by uh, wood and metal on the walls, there's open rooms and doors. You are walking past uh, chambers filled with lantern light and smoke from the cigars and, and other tobacco devices of these hardened, brute figures. 
a very musky smell as you're walking down this hallway. It's it's not uh, it's almost like being in a bank, the back of a bank where it's a bunch of offices on the left and right of one hallway. You make your way back to where you usually stay. It's this single black metal door. And just as you're about to go to open it, you see two feline eyes, light blue, appear in the darkness, the shadows on the right of this door. So as soon as you see these eyes, you actually, it sounds like the voice is coming from behind you, but the eyes, just the two eyes, are right in front of you. Right. And he says, Hans, it's been taken care of. Yeah. I got into some trouble and, and found somebody, but I don't think they recognized me. Good. That is the purpose of taking off the mask, is it not? Yeah, but of course it's not exactly not exactly happy with that sort of situation. But not that so I have a choice. So the three bandies were they disposed? Yeah. Of course. Roll deception check. Uh I rolled a Ooh. You rolled a fucking Wait, natural, natural 20, 20? <laughs> Is, is that good? I don't know. Yeah! That's, yeah. yeah. That's, 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 that's the best you can roll. Bro, if you roll a natural 20, it means you pretty much auto-succeed on, on most things. So yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. The voice itself, the sound travels from behind you into front of, into, the, into where the eyes are coming from. And it says, Excellent. Not that many people can take down three Vikings alone. This is why you're the champion. So, albeit me being champion... It's not entirely fully legit. Be that as it may, tomorrow won't be so easy. What makes you say that? It appears those three victors are quite challenging. Naturally, I've given them an offer to keep the tides in your favor as usual. But I know they're a type. Unpredictable pirates. At least it'll be an interesting fight, I hope. I'm sure you'll get very much enjoyment out of it. There really isn't much enjoyment when it's pretty much well, guaranteed win every single time. Lahom, should you lose this anyways, there will be consequences. You watch as the eyes kind of fade back into the darkness before getting completely blanketed over and disappearing from sight. It's strange because whenever the Baron talks to you, it feels like there's no physical presence nearby. Ooh. You're able to walk into your, your chamber, which is this uh, um, slightly like a medium-sized box of a room with just regular stone walls and stone floors, uh, a, a, a laid out, uh, basically padding on the ground for a bed and uh, exercise and, and all kinds of equipment to just train and practice and do whatever yeah. you usually do. And just one small sink with a a, a vertical, uh, very skinny, cracked glass mirror. Um, Christ. Yeah, it's very... I it's thought very I'd at least of, have some place that's like decent enough to live, but this dude yeah, legit right. got You're me imprisoned. Is, God damn, I'm the champion. What the trial, fuck? Yeah. What the it's fuck? Not, I want to read my contract. Okay, so it's it's not like <laughs> it's just like it's your not bed like, and then like a urinal next to it. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> well, don't even got a. It's bed more frame. like it's more like entering a a a room that's been or a garage that's been turned into a room. You put it more like that. So it is as nice as you want to imagine it to be, but it's not like it's not royalty. Yeah, <laughs> it's all luxurious. Yeah. I want to look into the cracked mirror and just gaze upon it, and then that, that's that's all I want to do. You'd stare at yourself. Very dramatic, you know? Very dramatically. And maskless. It doesn't feel... It doesn't feel right or whole. So the crack in the mirror, be it from time or an angry outburst, it makes a lot of sense. It's almost like looking past your eyes and into your character the very spirit the soul I see what you did there <laughs> oh, you, 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 you're Josh, a guy Josh, 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 Josh. <laughs> 
So, <laughs> for everybody else, we will switch back now to the three who wake up sprawled out in the sprawled brawler's in <laughs> in the room of Jay Ferrin. Oh, no, no, no Ooh, more. 5 a.m. Let's get pumped. Big day, big day. Oh, uh, Gillian. Please. Oh. Time Stop to get juice. Time to get juice like and get minutes. juiced. I I I pull out I pull out oh the juice God. from the briefcase of holding. My head. Yep. So got there's two left a... here. I've got a got a pick me up for you, Jay. Kill you. Yo. What did you? Pretzel, <laughs> get in there. Stir it around. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Hope yeah. is evenly distributed. Jay, you're going to need this power. Here, I start, um, I start tipping it, I start tipping it into her mouth. <laughs> it's good, it's good. You're being force-fed some fucking milky juice like a baby. Earl is oh, inside God. us all now. <laughs> what? Oh, no. Chip, oh, chip, chip. chip. Wait, wait, no, is that his feet juice? Please, Gil, don't come, don't come any closer. I have an infection. I just, you, you ominously see it. me like a sleep paralysis demon backlit. <laughs> By this murky <laughs> lighting with this fucking juice that I'm like swirling around. No, no, no! You don't want to come here because juice you're, time. You're, you don't want to. Uh, don't it's juice don't, time, please, Tebow. No, please don't say it's juice time. It's time to win. <laughs> I'm just, I'm a broken man. We're gonna beat this champion to a pulp, but first oh, you man. need pulp yourself. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna pulp you if you keep talking. All right, Wait, I give him the juice. Pulp win? me. Pulled me. Oh, I got my bluff. <laughs> I, I pour like a little bit of the liquid into my mouth and it falls out of the side. <laughs> Don't waste my juice. <laughs> you, you, you hear it. <laughs> God, you really, Sorry, you really no. eating all of us. <laughs> I take the, I take the juice back. I can't waste it. Chip, what's, yeah. what's going on, Chip? It's the big day. We're going to be finally crowned the Paramount <laughs> Champions. Even Jay's excited, and her grandma died yesterday. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, she's, she's so never strong coming back. and brave. She died in the heat of battle. She died in oh. battle as she wanted. Her one dream, mine too now. <laughs> I had it. I, I was having a nice dream. Can I go back to it? I was drinking too much. I had a dream I was pumping up, and now I'm pumping up. Okay, I'm up. Okay, I'm I'm up. Quick, what time I, is the I, tournament uh, at, anyways? <laughs> it doesn't matter. We need to stretch. I, I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to take my immovable rod. Uh, I put it in the air. I click it in the air. <clears throat> All right, Chip. Just twenty to start. Twenty what? Twenty pull-ups, Chip. <laughs> Pull up what? Yourself onto the bar. Me? Onto the seal? Yes. Okay. Come on. Pretend when you when you go up bars. when you go up, uh, it's victory. If the roll strength check, if you're trying to pull up, <laughs> would it would I just be at a straight roll? Yes. Well, yeah. I'll say I, I'm not gonna give you a disadvantage. Ten. Ten's enough. You do one pull up. Nice. <laughs> 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 oh god! I heard something crack. Is that? God. Oh is God! That normal? Yeah, is that's that okay. That's bad form. Yeah, that's really bad I form. Fall down onto the ground. <laughs> Why did I hear? I heard Ow. so many things pop. How could? I think he dislocated his shoulder. Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> Chip looks like he could do more pull-ups. He's choosing not to. <laughs> when? When is? When is the tournament? So just like the the days before, the tournament is literally right in the morning. Uh, same time as okay. the following days. You would have. Uh, basically a little time to get downstairs, maybe eat in the lobby, uh, or, or do whatever prep that you want to do and before heading to the Coliseum, but as soon as you're ready, you would be able to go. Okay, let me give this a try, and I jump off. I'm going for it. <laughs> Let's go, Jay! I'm so, I spot her, I spot her, right I spot her. That's yeah, a six. Actually, roll, roll... <laughs> Wait, roll which? Roll athletics. That should be the one that you roll. Okay, that's a nine instead of we're using the same roll. So you wow. actually don't do a pull up. Yeah, and I'm beneath the bar right now, laying on the ground snoring. 
You can't. Jay, you can't do why are you shaking, Jay? Why are you scared of pull-ups, Jay? Why are you shaking? Are you scared of doing a pull-up? <laughs> I'm just I'm just hanging at this point. I can't do it. <sighs> it's okay to be scared. I say this as I'm I'm like crushing kelps into a pigment that I spread onto my cheeks like like <laughs> Earl, no, don't okay. juice me. I'm terrified. I'm terrified of pull-ups. I just can't do them, Gil. It's okay you to be see, scared. it all started back in my in my in my childhood. My, okay, I sit down. <laughs> my my grandpa. Yes. The pull the pull-ups got him. Pull pull-ups killed your grandfather. <laughs> Exciting backstory. So sorry. I'm <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> that happened to you. Okay, I go Helps downstairs. <laughs> I got, I'm gonna go. go downstairs and uh, and and uh, eat something and feed pretzel. When when Gil walks out the door, I, I stop snoring for a second. I open one eye. Oh, thank God! I get up. <laughs> I walk out. Okay. Uh, before, so you guys would. Uh, each get ready, or are you just gonna head to the Coliseum? Anything else that you need to do outside of that um, before heading there? While we're eating, um, where would where would Gil be sitting? Why are you- do you wanna- <laughs> I slowly sit down so there's just enough time to put a whoopee cushion in there, you, <laughs> you deranged <laughs> man. Right, so, so I wanna, um, I, you know, I wanna go get some food, have, I'm sitting have a down, uh, I've, yeah, I've got a plate of food and I'm helping Pretzel do some stretches too on the table, I'm just sitting there. Alright, I kinda just wanna walk up to Gil, and, and I, almost like a proud father, put my hands on his shoulder and look down at Pretzel. She's really doing it, isn't she? Oh, she's, she's, she's really, she's really doing it. As Sometimes hands, I don't know who the champion is, Chip. So proud of her. She's the champion, yo. She's well, champion. <laughs> technically, no. That's me. I'm the champion <laughs> of the undersea, but it's doing yeah, so you good. Are. Doing You're so both good. doing so good. And while we're doing that, I'd like to take the necklace that uh, Gil is wearing off. <laughs> of fucking. Oh, yes. this is happening. This is happening. <laughs> hold on, hold on. This is you happening. Can, can you remove attuned option. magic items? You can, right? You can. Yeah. Hey, I know what's about to happen. Let him do it. Let him roll for it. <laughs> roll a roll a sleight of hand, Chip. You are a monster. Yeah, this is this is <laughs> this is nineteen. Nineteen. I think it's your um. Probably passive perception. It would be passive percept. You wouldn't 11. have anything high enough. No, yeah. no. I no. I notice this and I just raise my eyebrow at Chip, but continue eating. <laughs> do you have a nineteen? Higher nineteen. I do have right? a nineteen. I have a okay, nineteen yeah. passive percent. So nice of Chip to remove uh, jewelry before the fight, so it doesn't get tangled or caught tangled up, up in anything. The jewelry that so gives kind. me immunity to the charmed condition. It's so nice of him to remove it. Oh my God! Yeah. So go ahead and um, unequip that necklace from. <laughs> As Aslana, the necklace of Tide Strider. Yeah, the the wonderful necklace she made for me is a parting just gift. Just unequip it. What is the only gift? the only reminder I have of her in that place and, and the moments <laughs> that we shared together. Yeah, go ahead. It gave me immunity to the charm condition. That really that really demonstrated the bond that we have together as party members that we all got one and the trust uh, therein. Anyway, what were you doing, Chip? <laughs> so I was just uh, really proud of her. And you, Gil. You're doing good. Let's slip it away and put it in my pocket. Thanks, Chip. Okay, yeah, it falls right next to the two coins in your pocket as well. And the mm -hmm. letter. You have a note, two coins, and now the necklace of Tide Strider. Okay. Okay. <laughs> what else? <laughs> Fucking ass. I want to I wanna, I wanna <laughs> flip. I want to take the coin. Uh, I, I, I would have attuned to it now, right? Yes. Um, Sweet. Yeah. So you would uh, take out the coin that has one side a cat with green eyes, and the other side would be a cat-shaped skull mm -hmm. uh, with red eyes. And now, understanding that this coin uh, and its capabilities, you can add to your inventory. Cat's curious coin. So everybody else knows, on this coin, if you flip it with a bonus action uh, on head, if you don't call it and you flip it on head, the coin gives your next roll advantage. And on Tails, the coin gives you an extra disadvantage. However, if you call Ooh. it, you can switch it up. So if you call Tails, and it lands on Tails, 
It'll give you advantage and vice versa. That's cool. That's cool. I have an actual coin here, so that'll be fun. Let's go. That'll be fun. Cool. Now you get to use it. Now, uh, is that it for you three? Yeah, that's uh, it for me. Yeah, I just <laughs> feeling scoffed good. down food. Feeling good. <laughs> and just scoffing down look food. Look concernedly at, at Chip, who just stole the necklace <laughs> off of Gil's. <laughs> Carball loading. <laughs> All right. What? Um, uh, you come to in the morning. Waking up. This is the day that you wait for every single year on the same island. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo. <laughs> the monotony. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> the grand finale of the tournament. The champion versus the new competitors. You're free to prepare however you wish. Uh, in any way that you can think of, if there is anything that you want to do or, or look for or or what Al what Alma might do. I think he's gonna go for a workout. I think that I think that's the play there. He's gonna go he's gonna go for a full workout. Okay. Just full fucking workout. Doesn't care about anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just gonna he's just gonna pump some iron and get his mind off some things. Blow off some steam. I, I picture an eighties song playing while it's cutting between Gillian and Lal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just like punching the air. <laughs> And then there's the occasional uh, Chip and Jay it's, trying to do pull-ups. It's like it cuts from like, like a bunch of happiness with you guys, Cut and then like down to the fucking cellar with La Alma just silently pumping iron in his depressing <laughs> like bedroom. Rapid, rapid, rapid cuts with boom sound effects panning around Chip <laughs> unconscious <laughs> on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Jay eating oatmeal faster than ever before. <laughs> Good lord. Yeah, so you, uh... <laughs> I'm, 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 I have a bottle, I'm squirting pre-workout in my mouth while doing a pull-up. <laughs> 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 Fucking right on. The three of you will now head to the Coliseum after doing your preparations, your workouts, your eating, uh, your thievery, and scheming. What? What thievery? <laughs> <laughs> Who goes Who's there? talking to? You can't hear me. I'm God. <laughs> so been you guys get to. <laughs> <laughs> I like that line. <laughs> As you guys get to the Coliseum, you see a long line of people including past competitors, some that you may recognize, entering on the left side as as the audience, uh, as you remember. Excuse me, champions coming through. Hey, sorry. Sorry, <laughs> and you'll champs be on the way. You'll be walking down the right aisle, the same way that you came to compete the first day. However, um, as you get there, that, that same small little uh, <laughs> halfling with the small glasses and the large nose goes, <laughs> looks uh, and sees that you guys all have these gold and uh, wristbands, and he nods and just waves his hand for you guys to walk down that, uh, inc that metal incline down into this, this narrow corridor. Except for this time, you guys had down and past the doors uh, uh, for the smaller waiting rooms for the competitors for the previous day. You walk down this hallway almost at an, an entire half or a semicircle to get to the south side, where you, whereas you guys started from the north side of the Coliseum all the way to the south side. As soon as you get to this, uh, uh, down this hallway, it ends in a two-door entrance or archway that puts you in the slightly larger waiting room, this one much nicer with two... Uh, 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 couches without like a bag, like to just, uh, I, I don't want to say like platforms, but, but, uh, uh, I would say two, two couches, essentially, uh, uh a few tables that are just, uh, stacked, uh, that have like these, uh, almost buckets built into the table filled with like refreshments, different kinds of, uh, of drinks, uh, and these, uh, corked bottles and, uh, uh, uh fruits laid out, uh, on, on wow. the other side. Is this what Winnie is like? There's a, uh, there's, there's like, it, it is, it is very well lit. It's almost like blue lighting. It's very chilled in here. Uh, it feels comfortable and it's this, uh, uh, wide floors and just, um, yeah. So that's where you guys find yourself. God Don't eat right before the, the fight, you'll cramp. That good. You'll cramp. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> trying to soften us up. <laughs> a sweet meant for us. Champions. I want to go over, sit on the couch and hold my two hands up. Anything happen? I, I stare at Gillian also claps. At Chip. The toilet flushes. <laughs> <laughs> nice! Ah! <laughs> I just kind of lean back. Is there a lollipop I can just like... 
like just sit with my with my two feet up and my arms back or maybe a pipe i can pretend to smoke i'm sorry what a pipe Chip, i can get... pretend to smoke <laughs> you're gonna get cramps if you smoke before a fight. are you are you no, looking okay. for I'm, I'm okay so if you're smoke. gonna get In a this... nicotine addiction if you smoke before a fight <laughs> i'm not gonna get a nicotine addiction it's just so cool and and no, there's serious. nicotine in there. I'll say that they have. Um, oh no! <laughs> I'll say that they have cooked uh, fruit-flavored syrup that resembles like a sucker or a lollipop uh, that you cool. could uh, 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 that you could eat if you wanted to. Did you want to do that? Well, I just smoked, so I should probably get the taste out of my mouth. Sure. Yeah. Uh, the other two. I'm gonna. Uh... I'm gonna juice up, cause Chibo's already all juiced up, so I'll juice up too. I'm okay. also juiced up. I'm I figured juice that the, up in my mouth. Yeah, give yourself old man Earl's DM inspiration. <laughs> Big juice time. So I sit down on on Chip's legs, cause he has them up, taking the entire couch. Heavy, heavy. <laughs> move my legs down. Fuck you. <laughs> Listen. You're gonna what break my legs. No, I'm not. You're gonna break your lungs smoking like that. I did. I just one hit. All right. I'm not addicted. That's what they all say. What are, What is our plan today? Are we gonna throw the match? Ah, uh, I got it figured out. Don't worry about it. Just um. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, maybe good. try not to win. <laughs> Okay. I move the trash can over in front of me. I uh, grab a apple. I say, you're the champion. And then I throw it up and cut it in half. <laughs> <laughs> and what's your plan? What, do you, what about Gil? Honor why and glory, honor and silence. glory, honor and glory, honor and glory. I got you're Gil not gonna, handled. You're not going to do what they think you are. Are you? Oh, voice. This is all Damn. I've ever wanted. To earn a victory that is truly mine to claim one more title. You're Jay, gonna do they great, Gil. Just have forty thousand gold to not to only be us? chosen but to earn a victory truly. They have forty thousand gold to put on our heads. We don't need that. I mean, true. I don't know if you've looked around. We are on an island of people who hunt other people for money, or just yeah. money. They hunt things. Yeah, I know. We don't want to be I that mean, thing. Well, I used to say, uh, honor among pirates, I thought it was. Not that they have much. No! <laughs> I've never heard that. Actually, I have. Well, you, Forget it, don't you worry about it. Someone say honor? Heard of the pirates code. <laughs> no, yes? No, I said goner, because this champ is going to be a goner, right, You're Gil? You're so right. He is going <laughs> to be a goner. <laughs> yeah. Leave nice. it up, buddy. Nice. Proud of you. Splash me He's going to get us Splash killed if we don't do something. So I'm going to do something. Just let me... Do something, okay? Okay. <laughs> and listen, listen. Hey, we can go steal the artifact from the guy. How so then it's on him, that? and we can leave. I'll figure it out when we get there. Okay. As a few moments pass, as you guys uh, are, are, are doing your respective prep, you're pumped up. You're getting ready. Oh, yeah, you baby. get to your, you guys, you three are in your writing room, and uh, Alma, you're you're led to. Uh, uh, out of this secret uh, uh, underground place, and, and, and or you're still under there, but you're you're let out of your room, and you go to a, a another hallway that leads up a bit of an incline uh, to these uh, to to a similar uh, waiting room as the other two would have. It's just on the completely opposite side of the Coliseum, uh, and both of you are, are all of you in front of you. You would hear. Tss -tss as two steel doors on your side uh, whereas on the other side of the doors will be made of stone start to split open and you can hear from the outside this music blare uh, uh, trumpets and an and, and, uh, electric guitar just uh, go fucking wild and the crowd cheers uh, as, uh, as like lights start to <laughs> uh, come on your side basically to where you guys can now walk through these doors and step into the spotlight you hear uh, uh, the announcer, the Baron, start to lower on the same steel uh, platform that he was uh, uh, on the previous day. Uh, and all of you, from your places, have yet to move forward yet, but you can see that the Baron is dressed in this very sparkly, dark uh, suit with a very now light blue tie. His fur is shadow black, and he has this, uh, this orange spot on his eye, um, a black and orange calico cap. You would assume with this 
tall black top hat and he's uh, shouting to the crowd Ladies and gentlemen and all in between Welcome to the finale of the Paramount Tournament Today we see Yeah, they're just going fucking crazy Yes, I egg him on, I egg him on, dude. I fucking slam my sword and steel really, together. Let's go, I'm, baby. I'm you guys, walking out presenting myself like like a deity. I want to. Yeah. Um, so you three start to walk uh, down this um uh this 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 basically a catwalk uh a walkway <laughs> of, of of steel a metal a metal catwalk surrounded by the same artificial grass and in the distance right in the middle you see this steel raised octagonal wooden platform with some sort of white padding on top a steel rod and each of the shapes vertices connected by this red colored rope and you hear the baron shout and on this side are victors chibo and the chums entering as new exciting pirates with devious tactics, no mercy, and a clearer future to become some of the strongest. But will they have what it takes? And at this point, the spotlight hits your entrance, uh, Alaoma, as you get to start to walk out and make your way down the same kind of metal catwalk. And the Baron yells, will they have what it takes to beat? La! Immortal Alma! And the crowd just fucking goes crazy shouting uh, Immortal and, uh, and Alma uh, and chants like almost back and forth as if some of them are like the left side of the arena shouting La, La Immortal and the other one shouting Alma and they're like stomping their feet as you're walking now down this catwalk <laughs> to wanna... the same kind of uh, octagon shaped ring uh, with the, uh, the the rope surrounding as it. As I'm walking out I'm just I'm just sitting there just talking to myself saying just fucking what a sham what a fucking sham all this is. <laughs> I um would, I also want to we... specify I want to I want to like look to my left and notice one of the posters with myself on it, and notice that mm -hmm. there's a mustache drawn on my character. <laughs> and I just wanna, I just kinda wanna give that a funny I look and that. be like, what the I fuck? Basically, <laughs> 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 you're fucking, I don't know which week are you? <laughs> Bro, I'm happy. I love it, I know, it's fucking great, I love it so much. It's like when you're right. watching a movie and you're like, Bro, <laughs> <laughs> bro, bro. I also ended up bringing the uh, the juice that the old man gave me with me, and mm -hmm. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna oh, fucking no. chug that right before. <laughs> yeah, what I really see fucking him milky, there? really fucking milky. That's for well, sure. Well, here's you guys wouldn't meet yet because you're on opposite sides and your vision is kind okay. of obscured by okay. this ring. However, uh, right before you would walk out, you would don the luchador mask uh, again. This time, <laughs> and uh, and as you're walking out, probably be sipping back this juice and then throw it like into the crowd. Yeah, People go crazy. Yeah, they go fucking ape shit over there. Yeah, whatever the fuck. <laughs> Who cares? Yeah, whatever. Who fucking cares? <laughs> Someone grabs it, instantly sticks their tongue in it. <laughs> and it's at I look point. at it in disgust. <laughs> <laughs> the four of you would climb into this octagon-shaped ring, and you would be met. Face to face, <clears throat> you chip. You can roll uh, investigation. I think like here's the thing. I don't think I would. I think I would recognize probably. Well, I have a plus five, so maybe I would. I don't know. With with the with the mask, it's a little harder. Okay, I got a twenty. You would recognize the fur, <laughs> okay. but that's it. So I, <laughs> as we're walking in, all right, who's this tough guy that we're supposed to be? I had to start padding. Who would be on my right? I'll be there. It's my pecs. <laughs> All right. I just I'm like slamming on Gillian's like Titter. pecs, and then I go up and start slamming on his face. Ah, uh, good idea. Get the blood flowing. I start I, I slapping his pecs. No, 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 no. Yes, Fluffy. <laughs> Fluffy? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> no. I met that That's guy. Right. It's he's got some a cat. Oh, God, Llama, you'd be in your corner and you would see. Ch I mean, you would know his I'm name, just... but you would see the same drunken boy from last night and these two others next to him. I, they are I carrying look... like weapons and all, and then like a full armor. <laughs> <laughs> I drop it on the floor for a second, and I'm waving at you like really excitedly. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stare off in the distance directly at him and be like, "Huh? So he did lie." <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't seem to give a shit about us this... like at all. He. <laughs> I'm just you gonna guys be, from from, from your big cat. <laughs> yeah, from your respective corners. Uh, actually, it's not a big cat. 
Well, yeah. is much shorter than average height. <laughs> it's bigger than a cat would be. <laughs> By a lot. True. But the distance from your corner, uh, from your side of the of the ring to the other side, you guys have about a 40-foot distance in between each other. Okay. As a big ring. Oh, cool, 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 cool. That's cool. I know that guy. So what do we do How now? Do you know that guy? I guess we win. What's the game plan, team? Actually, Chip. Um... Before you say anything, roll a con save. Oh, shit. Bro Broski? What are you about to do to me? Broski? 19. Okay. What are you about to do to me? Yo, Where was my... What are you... Is it the coin? Is it the coin? Wait, is it the coin? No. You take 10 points, halved to 5 points of poison damage. And you were not poisoned because you succeeded. <laughs> you got a Ooh. feeling. What's poisoning me? You get a feeling that the lollipop. Oh, <laughs> man. Oh, bro. Oh, you tricky trickster. The trickster's <laughs> been tricked. <laughs> and as we you realize cramps, that. Like smart people we avoided cramps, dude. See, that's why. Don't cramp up. <laughs> also, don't get fucking poisoned by your enemies. <laughs> and as you realize that. You guys notice that the surrounding arena outside of the ring, the Octagon Ring, starts to fill with water as it pours from somewhere in yes. the ceiling. This, this, this illusionary uh, night sky with fireworks and all kinds of stuff uh, going off. It doesn't seem to be the same morning sky that you saw before entering the Colosseum. And somewhere on the sides, waterfalls just start to pour onto the grass and start to fill the field surrounding. Uh, the octagon ring and at the same time this webbed iron cage will raise until the <laughs> ring is caged oh. by oh a, spheri a spherical cell the cage itself is formed by many of these similar octagon shapes as well just big enough to where a person could probably jump through as well as objects wait hang on i didn't sign up for a cage match uh, uh, this, this is going to be one interesting, interesting bout, bout. Are you ready? I'm just I'm just sitting in the corner doing stretches. Just open the cage. Don't even care about oh. any of this. Not affected by a single Never thing here. Ever can you can you please, for love of God, just say, "Hey, freak show, you're going nowhere." <laughs> Me? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. God damn it. <laughs> reference. I don't know if you get it. I don't need you to. I just need you to say it. Is, isn't that isn't that the line for the Spider-Man movie? It's it fucking, is. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> do you want me to actually do that then? <laughs> yes, yeah, so badly. I just want to hear it. Hey, freak show! You're not going anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! I Let think he's battle. got us for three minutes. <laughs> nice outfit, Ellie Mortel. Did your Big husband game. buy it for you? Everyone rolled it. You so did. That's great. <laughs> You're All on right, the wrong rolling. side of history, blue guy. I guess technically the right side, actually. Never mind. So. I'm uh, happy for your relationship, and I hope to meet him after this. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> what am I rolling, by the way? It'll be initiative. initiative. It is the uh, okay. plus five button next to your armor class on your sheet. So can I use the coin for initiative rolls? It or would is... I have to say that before you say roll initiative? You would have had to say it before, but you can okay. in the future. Okay. You would just have to say, can okay. I have a bonus action before we do this? And I'd be like, I already rolled it. Okay. it Yo, Alma with a 25 on his oh, God. That's crazy. <laughs> you rolled another natural 20. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Bro, Dude, you guys what? are fucked. My man's got guest privilege. He's got guest privilege. Guest this is privilege. fucked up. Holy fucked. shit. <laughs> and that's where we're going to end the episode. <laughs> <laughs> ah, this guy. <laughs> Just in case. Charlie's just tear filled face. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, Roly Polies? I hope you enjoyed the episode, and welcome to the part of the show where I thank our wonderful, wonderful High Roller patrons. I'd like to give a huge thanks to the Big Mudda Fucking Cheese, Charm of the Bard, Alex X's Kira, and Alyssa, a group of pirates who give the Granberries a run for their money, especially when dairy products are involved. Asteria Nix, Beats, Ben 10, and Blue Blend Blop, the most powerful would-be competitors in the Paramount Tournament that ate just too much before the match and didn't show up because of the terrible, terrible cramps. 
Buttery Toast, Cornier Comet, Creepy Reaper, and Chrysanus Sin. Admirals of a very relaxed Navy platoon that went undercover at the tournament just to cheer on La Alma and see that brain buster. Dream Strider, Edgy Moss, Elise the Washed Up Bard, and Unio Lune. A real, actual band that shipwrecked on Desire Island and gave a rockin' performance that didn't turn everyone to stone this time. Expoogaloo, Gillian's biggest fan, and Grilled Salmon. A group of traveling Triton who happen to also believe they're the Chosen Ones. Let's just hope that maybe they and Gillian Tide Strider don't cross paths. Iridescent Cakes, Jay Newell, and Jello Gumdrops. A pirate crew of chefs who steal treasure, but always leave behind tasty treats. JRWI Enjoyer, Jumpiest Venus 34, and King of Ranch, a ragtag team that sails in search of the legendary Condiment Sea, the creamiest ocean of all. Kirby Wafro, Logan, Miscaladius, and Nay, a crew of cowboys and cowgirls that ride seahorses herding manatees around the ocean. Chip stole one, but he lost it. Neko Lord, Nonex Lodal, Obligatory References, and Russia Snivy. Scoundrels whose lives were put at standstill after being turned to stone by the Empress, but who also robbed Chip and Jay with an elaborate scheme where they pretended to still be statues after they got turned back to normal. Salutatien, Serene is actually a skeleton, Spinyax, and Viraden, undead swashbucklers just looking for a place to stop and get ribs. No, it's not an undead thing. They're just hungry. Zerberus, your gal pal Valerie V, and Zigzag Sugar, the ones who taught Finn Tidestrider the meaning of love. For legal reasons, they cannot go into any more detail. Thank you so much to all you wonderful patrons that support the show, and if you want to become a patron, just head on over to patreon.com slash just roll with it. And see you soon.